to Pearl Mesa's channel. In this series, I will demonstrate how to configure the 5 kW solar system, how to set up the power dispatch priority for the system, and how to use time slot charging and discharging feature, all across three separate videos. Without further ado, let's get started. The 5 kW system utilizes a post on smart SP5K or in one solid inverter. This inverter can both invert solar power to supply loads and support grid bypass for load power supply. It allows for solar charging as well as grid charging, and it enables you to define the priority of using solar, grid, and battery power to supply loads, based on your needs and specific usage scenarios. Additionally, it allows you to prioritize between the solar and grid power for charging the battery. The inverter must be connected to the battery, photovoltaic array, AC input power, and AC outlet. In this setup, we've connected a 51.2 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery, which is one module of the PO LIO 51460S lithium iron phosphate stackable battery. If you are using latency batteries or lithium batteries without building power switches, you will need a 200 amp DC circuit breaker for the battery line to ensure safe switching during the process. The AC input is connected to a transformer that simulates grid power, converting 230 volt to 120 volt. For users whose local grid voltage is 110 volt or 120 volt, you can directly connect to the grid. Alternatively, a 110 volt or 120 volt generator can be used as the AC input power source. A 63 ampere AC circuit breaker must be installed between the grid input and the inverter. For the AC outline, we've connected a power outline to simulate typical household electrical loads. Similarly, a 63 ampere AC circuit breaker is installed on the AC outline. To simulate PV input for the demonstration, we've used a programmable power supply, which will allow us to showcase status of sufficient and insufficient solar power later on. This inverter can be configured with a maximum PV array rated at 500 volts and 22 amperes. Once the main four lines are configured, the wiring setup for solar system is essentially complete. Next, close the battery line, switch on the rocker switch at the bottom of the inverter, and wait for the inverter to start up normally. Once the AC INV indicator light starts flashing, close the PV input circuit breaker, the grid input circuit breaker, and building AC input switch located on the left side of the inverter body. Finally, close the AC output circuit breaker and you can start your loads one by one. If the fold in the cage lines does not light up, it means your solar system is now operating normally. This concludes the wiring demonstration for configuring the 5 kW system. In the next video, we will explain and analyze the logic behind the system's output priority and the charging priority settings helping you choose the priority options that best suits your needs.